This is Tokyo's traffic control centre, where people sit and look at that huge board. And despair. Many already know the expression, give me a break. The idea is that accidents and hold-up points are monitored on a vast array of cameras positioned seemingly everywhere. When the traffic's getting sticky, the information is fed to drivers via huge boards located above every major route around the city. Orange means you're screwed. Red means that you should have remembered a good book, a razor and some new software for your in-car entertainment console. To keep foreseeable disruptions to a minimum, most roadworks are done at night. And we're not talking about one man and a pick, either. The team employed here borrowed its lights from Pink Floyd and was so enormous, it could have thrown up a couple of pyramids before sunup. Parking, too, is something else. We have Alton Towers, Paris has Euro Disney, Japan has its multi-storey car parks. Turntables get you pointing in the right direction, then you drive into what can only be described as a big vending machine, remembering to get out of your car before it's whisked away. The chap in the Porsche had been there for a week. They've got on-street parking pretty sussed out too. The meters have infrared sensors, so if you come back and feed them every hour, they know you haven't moved your car. If you park illegally, you get clamped, which in Tokyo means you get one of these on your door mirror. And the shame of driving around with a yellow tag fluttering in the slipstream means most drivers will pay the fine and have it removed before driving off. Something tells me it's a system that wouldn't work terribly well in Britain. Though that's not to say that cars don't get towed in Tokyo. They do, by teams who redefine the concept of efficiency. Thirty seconds, and it's gone. Mind you, if you drive a car like that, you deserve to have it towed away. But, you're saying, what's so different about the system in Tokyo? I mean, let's face it, they tow cars away all over the world. Well, I'll tell you what's different about the system here. This is. So, the guy comes back, there's his number plate. That says Shinjuku Police Department, and that is where it's been towed to. Now, he's got to go off and spend the best part of half a day getting it back. It's going to cost him £180. But it was a works van, all right? Now, that means the owner of the company that sent him here is looking at a £1,000 fine. If the chalk gets washed away, one has to presume he's also looking at the world's hardest ever game of hide-and-seek. <laughs> 